Hey y'all, this is Jacqueline Goldfinger. I created the story and wrote the script for After the Fall. I grew up in the rural South where nothing happened. I was bored out of my mind. But luckily my dad had an incredible 70s film collection. It was around the time of the 90s independent film movement. And so those movies either came to our movie theaters or to the video stores. Um, and I loved all of the intimate stories that were powerful and funny and sad all at once. And I've put a lot of that feeling into my plays, which is my day job as a playwright. But I also loved comic books and I loved the way that comic books could tell an epic story with an ensemble and you could carry it around in your back pocket and it could move in different ways than anything on the stage or screen. So when I met Kenny and saw his incredible illustrations that were provocative and passionate and narrative and just fucking gorgeous, I knew that I wanted to work with him immediately. One of the areas he was excited to explore was comic books. So I went home and wrote a script and luckily it was a script and a story that appealed to him. We talked about it and here we are. Hello, I am Kenny Thomas, the illustrator for After the Fall, and uh, it's been a pleasure working with Jackie. Um, she had such a clear vision of what she wanted and exactly how her narrative was to be told. Um, one of the things that was so interesting upon reading it is seeing how it was an adventure, an adventure that knitted all these different people together for the sole purpose of taking care of one another. Um, there's a part of me that loved it because of how cogent it was, how, how relevant it felt to today. And all I wanted to do was lend my energies to something that felt so necessary and so needed. So um, as far as my artistic background, my biggest influences, uh, uh, Milton Glaser, uh, since my degrees in graphic design, and um, Jack Kirby, who is one of the greatest comic book artists of all time. I always liked that kind of hand-drawn, you could see the mistakes, you could see the, the hiccups in the work kind of style. It always made me feel like I was connected to the process. So the process that I use to draw, especially with After the Fall, is done in that old traditional style of blue line, pen and ink, and then color. It always has this authenticity, a kind of like feel that uh, even has somewhat of a Dr. Seussian kind of feel to it. It's uh, got a little bit of whimsy, but a lot of impact and edge. And um, if you've ever followed any of my work, um, I really like edge, but I like edge kind of softened slightly so people don't get pushed away by it, but are attracted by it. So um, Jacqueline's been the perfect person to work with on a narrative such as this. And I don't want to give too much away because I want you to read it. Hi, it's Taylor Esposito, um, letterer, this letterer, what the hell? <laughs> um, so, you know, I've been doing comics a while and I was kind of one of those guys that kind of fell into it. I always liked them, but never thought I'd actually do it. Um, you know, I was really influenced by that 80s DC aesthetic, uh, which is what got me in. Um, you know, but as I started working, I started realizing I like different things and, you know, sometimes people just put you in certain things. Like, I, I've become a horror guy, which I don't know how that really happened. I mean, I love horror, but it's just one of those things that, uh, like, kind of fit together with me. I never thought I'd do those kinds of books. Um, but, you know, I like to take a little bit of everything. Uh, the, the nice thing about lettering is that you can be versatile. You can do a superhero story and a romance story and a horror story all in the same week. Um it's nice to have that little bit of anon anonymity that uh, that lets you do a little bit of everything, you know? And that's what's cool about, you know, working with Jackie when she reached out to me. Um, you know, it was like something different, something I haven't really done a lot of, and it's going to be a lot of fun.